Brother Aaron Tell Sarge. Hey, man, I'm here for you, Brother Al, at your service. I am your anchor here at the Why They Always Lion News Network. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said here, um, you guys, it's, 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 always a, it's always a stretch for them, but not a stretch for me. Huh? Because uh, with discernment, right, we can see through the lines. Today, the news is coming from... WTAL and we're broadcasting live from where? Shoplifting Central. <laughs> okay. You guys, it is shoplifting has made the news. Okay. Shoplifting has become a one billion. I don't know how they got it on the billion exactly. We're gonna let it slide. One billion dollar issue. Well, according to WTAL sources, right? Um, sources say since the pandemic, shoplifters and shoplifting, even in the crime ring area, is at an all-time high. Hmm. Well, let me point out some reasons to you as to why it's at an all-time high, right? Low wages, huh? People will steal when the wages are low. They won't make up. And corporations know this. They don't act brand new, Forbes. Uh, whoever reported this to Forbes and every all the other outlets. Don't act new. Huh? When the wages are low, people will steal. And they will make up for what you didn't pay them in your uh in your supplies. Right? Whether it be clothing, furniture, no industry is off limit. You don't pay well, people will steal from you. People are going to steal from you anyway. But when you don't pay well, check this out. Inflation, people will steal. People will steal to match the inflation. Why? Because their dollars aren't going as well. Hmm? You think all the toilet tissue during the pandemic was bought? <laughs> How about this? Um, when a certain, this is, this is a different perspective, right? That the that the lion news ain't gonna always tell you, because when a certain demographic hmm, who always had a line of credit and always had a decent job to add to that line of credit, burnt up that line of credit during COVID and not and not working, hmm, or their job found out they had no need of them. That demographic who is not used to being in the financial situation that they are in are stealing at an all-time high. Why? Because this is this is this is welcome to the bottom, uh, welcome to the middle of the bottom. They they <laughs> welcome to the middle of the bottom, right? Not at the bottom, right? Welcome to the top of the bottom, and they still it. All right, Brother. loss prevention isn't paid. Enough. Why? Because loss prevention, if he's not paid well and sustaining himself or herself, she will have uh, Elizabeth and Nancy come in and ring ring you out. That's what that's what loss prevention will do. You know that guy in Walmart and all these other places. He's about mm, straight hair. About uh, he's about five eight five nine. Right, always looking like he's shopping, but never grabs a shopping cart because he's not that legit at the job. Right, um, and is following you from an aisle over. Right, uh, there's another guy in the camera room who's not, who's not, uh, he's not watching, he's not watching like he should. Right, and if he is, if he's not paid well, he don't let some stuff slide through too. So think about it. These are all factors. That, that they won't say that contribute to that one billion. They said that organized, they blame organized crime rings. Okay, first of all, side note, the booster's been boosted since been boosted. That ain't your problem. It's these newly poor, this newly poor, newly middle class, mil, new, mm, new lower middle class demographic that has, that has appeared. 
due to the economic climate that is creating this one billion. Huh? People who've been needing to steal to survive instead of, they've been doing that. You've already accounted for that loss. But this new loss you're receiving, hmm? this new loss you're eating, Right? I say that you're only eating that loss, corporations, is due to a certain demographic not being looked at as thieves. So they are getting away with a robbery. Story time. Okay. So I'm in Target, right? And um, I'm in line. You know, sometimes, you know, in the self checkout, I pull up. Lady thought I was jumping in front of her. I'm obviously in front of her. This is, check, check the scene though. I'm obviously in front of her. But what does she do? She starts huffing me. Oh, I can't believe it. You just gonna, she's gonna cut like that? She's causing a scene. And you know me, I'm looking. Like, yeah, all right. Uh huh. Where you going with this? Right? Sure enough, she storms off. <laughs> and she takes a whole recliner out of the entrance. <laughs> out of the entrance. She was in line to pay for it. Tripped about me getting in front of her as if she was entitled to be earlier than I was. She used that as the decoy got pissed, walked off in front of the entire line out of the entrance with the recliner. By the time I come outside, oh, y'all, I can't so make sad. this up. And the recliner's so big, it's like, how'd you get that in the car by yourself, ma'am? She, she had booster energy. Elizabeth had booster energy that day. She got that, no, she got that, she got that thing in her. I said, and by the time she seen me, she was looking at me, all side out as she was driving by. And I saw that and I said, sure you ain't pay for none of that. So let's add um, 10,000 Elizabeths stealing 10,000 recliners every month out of the front door because you don't suspect Elizabeth to steal. I don't know. That's just, that's just firsthand account, folks. I can't make this stuff up. Come on now. Let's keep the news going, right? We're going to take you across the water, right? Uh, we're going to what the news reports it as China. Why they always lie news network going to tell you better, right? It is not China, you guys. Violent protests in Taiwan. But the but all the other news um outlets are just saying China. Which lets us know that Taipei, Taiwan um, has given in. Or they know something in the media that we don't know. How did they all get on one accord? Taiwan has always been listed as Taiwan. It has not been listed as China. They didn't call... The, you go check for yourself. They're not calling it Taipei, Taiwan. They are calling it... Their, their headline reads all over the internet and everywhere, uh, 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 violent protests erupt in China over iPhone factory. Check this out. These people, and, and the, the, the official reports like, oh, you know, uh, uh, people caught COVID in the factory. The job doesn't want them to leave, right? And they want to leave anyway. First report I ever seen came out came out like that, right? I said, okay, but let me dig a little deeper, right? Because that's a little too much for that. And I look deeper, you guys, these people are fighting police dressed in hazmat suits. Huh? The stage is being set. You gonna fight the police, but the police ain't in police uniform? They dressed in hazmat suits. Why? That's a photo op if I've never seen it. All right, so your police are fighting people in hazmat suits because they don't want to get COVID from these people who are at the factory, um, um, the Foxconn factory, you know, producing iPhones. They gonna, so they they prepare, got masks on, all white suits, right? 
see your white suits fighting people. But you guys, the sources have revealed that it's over pay. It's over them not being paid or them being underpaid. Something went wrong with the pay and food rations. So let me explain. Now you like food rations. What does that mean? So you guys, somebody tell me in the comments if I'm wrong or not, but like these people have Foxconn and the corporation that is making these iPhones in China has dormitories on site. So you ain't got to go home to your family. You sleep three hours, get back, get your butt back in here and keep pressing out these processors. Huh? Keep pressing out these chips. Huh? So they don't have to go home. So imagine if you got a COVID outbreak because they test their employees every day. A couple of few, few, few employees, right? Get COVID. That employee... I, is so allegedly supposed to stay in the dormitory and not even go home so they don't get the rest of the population. But they they would have you look at the photo ops have it looking like sick people wanting to get out and affect other people when really these folks ain't, a lot of folks ain't being paid. Come on, now they missing payment. So as it's, you know, I, you know, people will fight the police. Over food, people will fight armies over food. People will fight over money. People will fight over treatment, right? Um, the wages being kept back, people definitely gonna fight. So, could this be a stunt for something else? Could this be changing the sentiment of American corporations in China, even though it's in Taiwan, right? Um, could this be? Could this be changing the sentiment? Hmm? If I wanted to, if I wanted to get a bunch of people ready to fight angry, I withhold their wages, right? And then blame it on the corporation. Or the corporations literally, but I would, I would, if I wanted you to be war ready instead of assembly line ready for iPhone. I need you to have a disdain for them. And I need to point back to them to saying, hey, they're not giving you the money. And I can control the internet and all the worst sources and make you have a disdain and set up the propaganda machine for you to properly hate the people you work for. Because it's not the Asian people on site that's keeping your money back. It's America. You, I could, I could see how they could spend that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, you guys. Let's let's keep an eye on it. You know, saying that there's gonna be an iPhone shortage. Time to switch to Android. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. Let's move around. We gotta make these calls, right, brother? I'll let your service. This has been the conclusion of the Why They Always Lying News Network, boy. See you back here soon.